Hi, I'm Justin and today's project is going to be this folding desk. I built this as an addition to the Murphy bed so that I could still use my second desk in the office and then fold it down and put it away when I want to use the bed. I think it turned out great. I took the desk that I built previously, modified the legs a little so that they were able to fold, close, and lock up and so that I could be stored when the Murphy bed flips down. So it is really cool. It stays uh, in place because I have latches on there to lock it in place and it actually it makes this piece of furniture a little bit more functional in the room and not just a uh, big area. I'm really excited with the shelf. I can mount a camera up there and do small little work while I'm working on my desk here. I think it's a good addition to the office. We'll see if I like it after a few days, but I think it is really cool. And it'll be really nice having multiple desks in here, one for like working on small projects and then one for my computer. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If this is your first time to my channel. I did build this Murphy bed and that is it going to be linked down in the description. And if you like what I do here, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoy. So I started off taking apart the old desk. I will include the build video for that in the description down below. But I took the legs off so that I could take them apart. My plan was to make them foldable so that the desk could fold away while the bed was in use. Then measured the cross pieces halfway so that I can cut them directly down the middle so that this will be the part that actually folds to let the desk fold down. I cut these support pieces out of 1x2 to mount the hinges on. I had to mount the top support piece twice as high so that the hinge was on the pivot point that allowed the top of the desk to fold down and equal the distance of the support piece when it's folded in half. Moving on, I attach the hinge to reconnect the support piece that we cut in half earlier. This will allow it to fold in half, letting the desk fold and give it the low profile. With the support pieces, I did have to use a special hinge. It comes with a removable pin so that you can mount both sides of the hinge separately and then add the pin later. Uh, this helps with uh, tight areas that you can't screw in the screws. I wanted to make the support piece still solid. So I wanted to lock into place so the desk didn't accidentally fall on me. So that's what this piece is here. It's just a little bracket that I cut one of the holes out so that I could flip the bracket in and out of the screws, locking the boards in place so that it was one solid piece once again. Going back through the footage, it looks like I missed this part of the build. This is the bottom support bracket that supports the base of the leg. It's just another one of those one by two support pieces that I cut out earlier, screwed down to where the leg meets the strut post. And I put, I added two springs on there to help guide it. Cause when you see when I fold it, it does lift up about an inch. So this just allows it to come back and make it into the right spot. I did add a latch to hold the pieces together when the desk is folded up and you want to fold the bed down. Repeated all the steps on the second leg and now it's time to paint everything up to make it look nice. Uh, so I painted all the hardware black so that it would blend in a little bit better with the dark wood. After everything was all dry, it was time to reassemble the legs with all the finished pieces. When 
installing it on the Murphy bed, I just propped it up, found the center point, and drilled in some one and a half inch screws just through the top there. These screws are a little bit hidden away, which is nice, uh, so you can't see them when the desk is in its uh, open position. As I'll show here, the desk folds down and the Murphy bed can still fold down to have the Murphy bed function. Uh, I really enjoyed this build because it was kind of my own design. I didn't find the hinges from anybody else uh, because these were custom desks, so I had to figure it out on my own and I was proud of how it turned out. Hope you enjoyed.